We are going to create a supporting structure for the roof. We would like to use a standard predefined profile. For this, choose Options, Import Standard Steel Profile command. We can define the country code as well as the geometry. Modify the geometry to circular hollow. The advantage of this workflow is that we do not have to draw the steel profile manually. Select the CFCHS 273.0x 12.5 profile in the list. Click on Add Profile to the project. The selected structures now appear in the list to the right. Click Import. The profile is now available for use in our ARCHICAD project. Double-click on the Column tool to open the Settings dialog box. Change Column Top to Not Linked. Modify the height of the column to 9000 mm. Change the geometry method to complex and select the hollow profile from the list. Enter 73400 mm for the elevation height to project zero value. Click OK. First, we'll place columns in the floor plan view. Display the floor plan of the 21st story by double-clicking its name in the Navigator project map. Place the columns in the axis C9. And in the axis E4 as shown on the screen. Open the 3D window and display the top of the building. Next we will create steel cables running from the top of the column to the edge of the roof. Activate the Morph tool in the toolbox. The Morph tool is a versatile modeling solution in ARCHICAD, allowing you to create complex solid shapes, surfaces, or even 3D lines. We'll use a Morph to model the steel cables. Choose the Structural Columns layer in the info box. Select the Polygonal Geometry method, and also select the Steel Structural Building material in the info box. Using this method, we can create 3D lines. Click on the center of the column, and draw the cable to the corner of the shell. Double-click to finish the steel cable. You may orbit the model to have better visual feedback on the results. Using the same method, place four additional cables on both edges of the shell, as shown on the screen. Place cables at the other column, too. You may switch to the floor plan view and rotate a copy of the existing cables, or add the cables in the 3D view. Display the floor plan view to investigate the results on the floor plan as well. The last modeling exercise will be to create a gate with the Morph tool. This example illustrates the many possible uses of the Morph tool. Open the Morph Settings dialog. Set ground floor for home story. Change building material to generic structural. Display the model panel of the dialog. Modify the surface override to Paint 6 and layer to Structural Combined. Click OK. Set the geometry method to Free Rotate Rectangular in the info box. Open the 3D view and orbit the model so that the main entrance is visible on the ground floor. The editing plane is the top surface of the slab. Draw a rectangle in front of the entrance of the building as it's shown on the screen. Select the rectangle and click on any edge. Activate the tube option from the pet palette. Pull the rectangle upwards. Click to turn and pull the gate to the right side. When we turn downwards, 
We can use the Shift key to grab the right direction. Finally, double-click to finish the morph. You may select the morph and click on any of its front edges and activate the Push and Pull option from the pet palette. Pull the front surface of the morph as shown on the screen. We'll fill at the corners and the edges of the morph in the 3D window. Select the entire morph and choose the Fillet Chamfer option in the toolbar. Set the radius of Fillet to 300 and click OK. Notice the results in the 3D view. At this point, our model is completed.